Hey everybody, Jason here. Happy Tuesday. Hope you guys are all having a great day. So we're still sitting on most of these call credit spreads. We got five filled so far um, with two, I think two of them got filled at one point and three of them just got filled uh, a couple minutes before I started recording this. So now we can roll out some more. I did roll out one of my 650, 640s, or it was a 660, 650, one of those two things. And I rolled that out to actually quite a ways. Um, where did we open up that? So I rolled it out to um, October 22nd. And since I don't have anything expiring, well, not much, like on the 1st and on the 8th, that's where I'm going to look to roll things out to. Um, and a portion of it will be a little bit further out. So uh, the reason that I take various strike prices and various uh, expiration dates is it just kind of keeps a um, kind of keeps an influx of things expiring and um, varied risks. So some of them that we don't have to worry about, like, you know, everything here, we don't really have to worry about anything expiring in the money. And then with some of the closer to the money strikes, those ones we may need to roll out, but, um, but that way we have a little bit more premium collected on some of the higher ones and some of the lower ones, we can just not worry about it. And those are, uh, I don't want to say guaranteed, but, um, they are very high probability plays. So the ones I'm going to roll out right now, um, since we just got three more filled, are the 650, 645s. And the reason that I'm doing those as opposed to any of the higher ones, if we look at what we have left to collect, we have six, seven dollars left to collect on these, as opposed to the ones that are further out of the money where we only have three dollars. So we'll be able to roll them out for uh, more gain there. So We'll go ahead and get three of these guys rolled out. And we'll go to the 17th. Wait for everything to populate. And we'll look at the 650, 645s. So we'll buy back the ones that we sold. Hit sell. Sell back the ones that we bought. So you can see there's just a $4 difference there. And we'll go ahead and just go out a couple weeks here. Um, looking for about 10%, about 10% premium. Um, and I am kind of fluctuating between the 670s, 665s. I feel pretty good on both of these. So this should be, what is this? $55 ish. Can I not do math? Oh, nope, I, I cannot do math. So that's $45. We'll actually go up a little bit. And we can always, um, the rest of them that we roll out, we can definitely go a little bit lower, just depending where price action is. So um, so I'm going to look at these 680, 675s. I'm looking for that 10% premium and fifty dollars so we'll continue get three of these rolled out and try to grab fifty dollars see if this will fill we might have to just grab 48 bucks tesla not really moving right now all right we'll see if we can get filled at 48 grab 144 dollars here I think we grabbed a hundred and some dollars earlier. Let's see if these guys will fill at this price. And let's we'll wait a couple seconds. All right, forty-seven. Final offer. There we go. One hundred and forty bucks added to the account so that is going to be it for rolling these out until more of these guys happen to close but the other thing i can do is i can get some of these guys rolled out the um covered calls that we have um i want to see if we can actually grab any premium 
Oh, I forgot these are just these are just uh, monthlies here. Actually, let's see. Can we? Good. Um, so I just clicked on that just to see. Do, do, do. They don't have. They don't have a last price. I don't see everything changed a little bit. That's why I'm kind of looking around a little bit. But most of the time they'll they'll show the last sale. But we'll see if we can get it filled for twenty six dollars. And hit replace. All right, now they want twenty five. We'll see if we can grab twenty four bucks. <laughs> And if that doesn't go, if that doesn't get filled, we'll just let that guy go. Gap has gapped down significantly. So this is another one I probably won't be able to grab a ton of premium on. But we can always try, put in an order, see what happens. Buy back these three. Um, go a couple weeks out. And yeah, I don't like this. So I don't really want to be anywhere near the money, and this isn't enough money for me to put my shares at risk. Uh, Coca-Cola. See if we can do the same thing on here. And even though we might not make plays on these, the reason I'm just going through them, I can kind of talk through what I'm thinking. Hopefully that's helpful. And I still want to sell at that $60 level if I can get anything. And again, um, not enough premium up here to where I feel totally safe on it. Uh, especially with the market kind of, um, with the market overall kind of being down right now. Uh, I feel like I'm better off waiting for a bit of a bounce back before I go ahead and sell sell any of the premium. Especially, especially on names like Coca-Cola which are definitely going to rise with the market. I did sell one more um, cash covered put on Tilray, which that is part of our wheel. I'm looking to roll, uh, lower the cost basis here. And, um, and I think that's about it. We'll look to roll this one on Friday. This 165 we have sold against our 135 call. And that is going to be it. So um, up another 3,000-ish today. And we're just going to wait on, we'll just wait on getting filled on our call side. And that way we can roll out our put side. I could close both of them out, but I am giving it until tomorrow. Most of them are not wor worth very much. And it, and it works out in our favor that I did wait. Because if we look at like even some of these yesterday, um, Yesterday, we would have had to pay like 20 cents or whatever to close these. I guess by the, let's see, where were we at by the end of the day? Yeah, we would have had to pay 15 cents or so to close these guys out. Now we're only paying seven, so it's another $8 gain per contract on a lot of these. Eight to 10 um, is what I was looking at earlier. And then we also have, of course, more gain on this. And we should eventually get filled tomorrow. We can we can close both sides uh, for maybe ten bucks, ten bucks, nine bucks, eight bucks, something like that. But that's what I'm looking for. If you guys have any questions, please let me know, and I'll do my best to answer them. I know somebody did ask for me to go through like basically all my positions um, and how much how much uh, collateral I have in in all of my. Tesla put credit spreads and all that. Actually, there's a real easy way we can look at that real quick um, without going into too much detail. I just don't want to take too much time. I do have to get back to work. But if we look at, doo -doo -doo, there we go. There is my cash collateral, $95,000 worth of cash collateral on 390 contracts um, value negative 19,000. That means I have $20,000 to realize um, if everything expires worthless or I close them out for not too much. So there you go. That is it. All right, guys.
Again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Do my best to answer them. Other than that, have a great day and let's make a lot of money.